Hi everyone, we are back. <laughs> it's been a while, yeah? But we are back and uh, we'll talk about it later when we are eating, okay? So today we are going to make a uh, tanko pork, tanko North tanko style pork. So it's just simple cooking again. If you remember, I cooked this like many times. So I cut the pork into a bigger size, chunks. And if you want to cook tanku pork, north style, northern north tanku style pork, you have to use homemade chili powder, like a roughly pounded one. Not from the store, okay? Not the one from the store. There you go. And it will be perfect if you use the cereal corn uh, chilies, cayenne. Okay. Anyway, not just Sierra Kong, we have lots of chilies in every uh, village. Salt. We don't need a lot of ingredients. That's it. Water. And then, this is what we're going to use. Hoogar chives. Yeah? We're going to add this later and a little bit of garlic and ginger. That's all the spices and herbs we are going to use. So simple. The trick is in uh, slow cooking. Okay. Slow cooking means cook it on a high heat, and then when it's like started uh, boiling, then you reduce the flame a little bit, and then cook it for a longer period of time. Okay. There you go. Okay, guys. This has been cooking on high heat for about ten minutes now. I'm gonna reduce the heat to medium. My microphone is a little bit far away. I hope you can hear me. I'm going to turn down to medium. And just keep continue cooking, yeah? It smells so good already. Alright. So I've been cooking this pork for almost an hour. We can eat like this because it's cooked already. But for us, we like to... We cooked Rupe Taku North style uh, pork. We like to cook it very soft. So I'm going to add some. You know what? My favorite potato. You don't have to. But when I was young, grandma always had potato for me. So keep this keep this uh, potato as an option, okay? If you don't like potato, but trust me, cooking pork with potato is just like so good and you don't overcook the potato, then it sifts all the flavors into it, especially the young new potatoes, they are the best. Now we're gonna cook this until the potato is soft and then we'll add our herbs and ginger garlic. There you go. So after cooking for more than an hour, maybe almost two hours, our pork is ready. You have to cook, uh, if you're cooking this recipe, you have to cook your pork for a long time with those chilies because those chilies has to cook down. If you don't cook them down, they will taste raw and spicy and it will, it will taste nice. Okay, now everything is cooked. I'm gonna add some ginger garlic. Now, this one is very traditional. When my grandma cooked when I was growing up, most of the time she used this cooker chives, roots, mostly roots. If you use this, the roots of the hooker chives, you don't even need uh, garlic or uh, ginger because it has this very beautiful, strong aroma which just smells so good That's it! Our pork is ready We're not going to overcook these uh, greens, this um, the hooker chives Maybe a minute or two and then we are ready to eat Hi guys, we are back! Hi guys! It's a very very long time. Long time it is, definitely. Yeah, we tried so many times to do mukbang, mm. cook so many times, mm. but whatever is happening around us, I couldn't do it. So, you know, today we made it. Yes. And we In made. Bite of everything. Today, tanku pork. Mm. Yeah. What's that? Bitter melon. Crunchy, <laughs> crunchy bitter melon. 
copy to put and, and then, uh, no not copy to put that's so copy, copy the conjum conjum jump put and how do you say salad in taku uh, salad copy salad copy, copy salad. salad copy salad okay mm. well so yeah mm. so it's full of fresh mm. thank Tato. you thank you you're gonna eat two mm -hmm. one more potato yeah here yeah. this is like a Sorry. Hey, be careful. Can I do it Almost, like this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's for you. Very pure um, North Danko style of cooking. Mm. We mm. mostly cooked our pork in clay pot, you know, honey? But uh, we don't have it here, so. We don't have the fireplace. We have the clay pot. We just never used it. No, not the same one, baby. Ah, <laughs> different. It's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're, you know that they're hot, yeah? Yeah, that's why I eat them last. <laughs> Here you are, guys. So be careful. Uh, my meal. Yeah. My wife is not good with words, but she's good with I cooking. I am not good but with she's words. She's good with cooking. Let me tell you that. But I cry when I'm alone. Sure. Can I pray for you? Okay? There you go. Bon appétit, mm. everybody. Bon appétit, everybody. Hope you all are doing fine besides my state. And even them, I hope they are doing fine. I hope they are getting enough like food to eat each and every day. Mm. Mm. No. You know what? I can say something about that situation in your state. Okay? You can cut this if you want, yeah? Go ahead. So, pretty much this reminds me of the war that we had here. Which, at the end, bro the brother was against brother. And it was all for the rich and criminals, yeah? And then at the end, we have separate countries, okay, and separate stuff, but we still see each other and work with each other like it was just unnecessary, you know, all those bloodshed were just un completely unnecessary. We could actually go sit down and talk, 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 talk until we figure it out, and that's it, you know. But Mm -hmm. You know, people with a different agenda always are behind it. So, don't let them guide you to something that you don't want to, you cannot live with. <coughs> I think it's already. I know, but they are individuals. But then, if it's... At the end of the day... Powerful people always win, and we poor people always suffer. Common yeah. So don't just be a pawn in a game with somebody else. Think with your head. Mm. But I have to tell you, the reason that I don't want to make video is because of those girls. I couldn't do it. Ah. I didn't even show it to my husband because I'm ashamed of what is happening there, you guys. Mm. People just need to chill a little bit. Mm. I love it. Mm. 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 Meat is always good here. Okay. You want a zinc? Mm, it's more. It's our uh, chilies, baby. Mm -hmm. I'll give you just the. Thank you. Mm, thank you. The meat over here is like so tender and easy to cook. Mm. 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 Guys, maybe some of you follow what's happening in the world with technology and stuff like that. And what I saw the other day was shocked me. 
they are printing meat. Okay? They're putting it in machine and then it comes out meat. Mm. Okay? That's not meat. For and sure. Well, if you do the chemi chemical test, it's meat. But, mm. and you know what? I agree. If there is what? an emergency, uh -huh. for example, that's a good thing, you know? Like, oh, we ran out of food, or there is like a, a cloud from volcano for a couple of years, and there is no crops and stuff. Fine, yeah, I, I agree. But I put it in a market, like... But the problem is, you are saying like, if, right? If what? If there is. If there is, yeah, yeah. See, that's the problem. We don't have that problem and they're doing it, baby. Yeah, well, maybe we will have to. <laughs> mm. 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 Excellent, baby. Just try to grow your own food. Mm -hmm. As long as you can. Learn about ways of the planet Earth. Humans are going crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, so good, baby. For me, mm -hmm. I don't know about you. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying my life, baby. Beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful. Oh yeah. Mm. Too much tomato. Too much? Mm -hmm. I cannot. Mm. 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 Less or more? Yes. Mm -hmm. But that's good for me because I don't eat spicy like them, you know? Mm. I just have to announce that the other day, I don't know where I was, and they offered me, like, I was eating something, and then they offered me very, very spicy sauce. And I'm not over-exaggerating, but I just didn't feel it, okay? I feel like I put black pepper, you know? And everybody around me was dying, and then but I realized, then I realized that it damaged my, <laughs> it damaged my senses. My sense of spicy has moved up completely. That's true. If anybody tastes the food that you are making for me, like when you make it spicy, mm -hmm. they cannot eat it. And I'm like, oh, just about right. Here mostly their uh, seasoning will be, for example, I'm not taking this as general. If my mother in law cooks, it will be salt, pepper, very teeny tiny of salt, amount of salt, pepper, mm -hmm. and um, they have this, what do you call that? Which one? Vegeta. Uh -huh. Spices mix. They will use that. And that's it. And uh, smoked sweet paprika. Excuse me. It's a Balkan masala. <laughs> mm. That's it. Masala means mix of spices, yeah? Mm. Masala means 
mix of spices like coriander, cumin. It has to be those, yeah? Everything. Mm. Nice. Which I ate tonight over here. Everything. Mm. This is the one with no spices. Which one? This one? Yeah. Salt, Beautiful. water, chili powder, and that's it. garlic ginger herbs from the garden. That's it. Oh my gosh, I'm so full. If you guys still wondering like, oh sister, why don't you eat more meat? I cannot. Today I had one big pork because morning I had one toast with butter and uh, jam that I made at home. Mm -hmm. And then I went to the hospital mm -hmm. and then I had uh, I eat two toast that they make of they made with um Portuguese. Oh, uh, French toast. Kinda. Yeah. Kinda. With egg toast. Sure. That's it. And then I came home. So I ate two potato, which normally I, eat, I will eat only one, but that's how I calculate my diet, how much I have consumed. Mm. Speaking of consuming, you want to tell them about the chronometer? Yeah. There's lots of moms that are asking me like, what do you eat? How do you this? How do you eat all these things? Oh. I don't want you to look at me and say that. Oh, she eat everything. We are gonna eat everything. No, you see me eating what? Once. Like once in a week, once in two weeks, once in a month. Mm -hmm. But I use an app called Chronometer. Yeah, no affiliation. A little bit different from American and Canadian, yeah. Mm. In a way. Well, we'll one or two percentage. Mm -hmm. So in Chronometer. Just download that one in chronometer you enter anything but most of the Asian vegetables you won't see well you find something but you have to yeah you know. so if you add like uh, how much is like one hundred grams of um, pork if you enter it it will show you like how many potassium phosphorus vitamin everything has mm -hmm. and according to that you can calculate your diet or your children's diet or your son's diet mm -hmm. that's how I do it not religiously but mm. like you know now you're doing it from your from your head but mm -hmm. first she was using it she had a big board here with mm -hmm. all these things and now that she learned it she knows for example this is this is the amount of pork I eat today okay so I think in my in my calculation it has around 380 or 90 phosphorus and potassium at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Less or more. Mm -hmm. Okay. But then I calculate like what I, ha I have eaten the day in the day before. Mm. So that's how I calculate and, and if potato you are, also. If you are wondering how she knows how much to eat. There is a guideline for kidney problem people, yeah, kidney disease people, whatever. Dietitians, so maybe. Dietitians. Oh, yeah. I found a lot of dietitians. And then there are some like uh, default numbers, but you have to experiment on yourself a little bit more, a little bit less. That's what you have to figure it out. But there is a guideline, like you can find it on the internet. Just follow a dietitian. The easiest way for you is like follow dietitian. Mm -hmm. When you want to know about medicine, who do you go to? Doctors, right? Mm -hmm. The same way when you want to know about diet, you go to dietitians. 
I'm not saying doctor doesn't know, but when it comes to diet, dietitians knows better, better mm. than doctors. Okay, Definitely. the same way they know better than dietitians about medicine. So mm. I follow a couple of them, and then I learn a lot of things. They will say like eat everything. People will say like, oh no, you cannot eat that. That's not true. You can eat everything, but then you have to monitor how much you eat. How much, like, we have to monitor by milligrams, how much we have consumed for the day. But most of the dietitians will say the one thing that not to eat at all is dragon fruit. Uh -huh. Dragon fruit. <sighs> dragon fruit, huh? Mm -hmm. It's full of what? I don't know. I didn't check. Oh. Oh. We don't get that here, and I'm not even interested in that fruit because it's very strange and I don't like the color. Well, this is a perfect time to see mm -hmm. how the app works. Mm. I don't like banana, I don't like avocado, I don't like tomato. Those are very high in potassium. You can still eat them, but you have to calculate them. As much as we cannot eat, consume too much potassium and phosphorus, we still need them. So. Please follow uh, dietitians, you guys. I don't know everything. I just go according to my stats. So you should do the same thing. Okay, let's see. One serving, one slice of dragon It's hard food. to explain it to you. But once you understand it, it's not that difficult. What I don't appreciate is that people who don't understand anything and saying like oh you have kidney disease you're not supposed to eat that you're not supposed to eat this that's what i don't appreciate because you don't know anything and you're just saying it mm. no data <sighs> oh, it's dragon fruit. no data it's full of vitamin c full of who oh, dragon fruit dragon fruit a little bit of sodium, a little bit of iron, calcium. Mm. You see? No, oh, you cannot actually. But this is how it looks like. You, see? Mm -hmm. you enter anything the and then it will come up everything. All the stats, the serving, yeah. it comes out like that. No affiliation. But once you start following, uh, following, following this dietitians on social media, uh -huh. You, you will hardly use this chronometer. Yeah, I hardly know. use that anymore because I've been following them and then they are also learning and discovering a lot of stuff. Yeah. Like for yeah. example about the potato. Yeah. Remember how I was when I first diagnosed with kidney disease? No I was like, or well, even on my vlog, I was like, I cannot eat this, I cannot eat this, I cannot eat this. Those are all wrong. And now I came to know that I can eat everything I want but it has to be calculated. Calculate and portion size. Control. Portion yeah. control. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, thanks for watching everybody. Stay thank you safe. Guys. Be wise. Spread kindness and love. and love. Love. Life is too short. Yes. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.